Welcome to Mack Trucks. Good to be here. Mack Trucks has been a, at, the, at the center of building America for 120 years. Our products are the core of American infrastructure. And those products, those heavy duty Macs, are all made here in Pennsylvania at this factory. And we're able to do that because of the skilled and strong UAW workforce we have, sir. Um, sure. And without these guys, we're all part of the same Mac family, and this is what makes us a, a great company. So, Kevin, maybe say a few words about our, our workforce here. Exactly what he was saying. You know, we have a great relationship, and uh, we have now are looking at ramping up and hiring about four to 600 more people into this plant, which is creating more jobs in this Lehigh Valley area, you know? And uh, you got like you said, the best workforce we could have. Uh, we very invested. proud. We'll continue to invest. Yep. We're not going anywhere. And we'll go up to our first station here, Mr. Okay. President. You'll meet some, some outstanding colleagues here. Hey guys. So please, sir, there's your, your mark. How are you? So How you doing, standing Gentlemen, in blue. please introduce yourself. All right. John, do me a favor. How you doing? Work, work on your biceps, will you? Oh, of course, you know, absolutely. Don't, don't, don't worry about the guy. Hey, you know what it's mean? a pleasure. What's your name? Glenn Gray. Good to see you, Glenn. It's my pleasure. Joe it Biden. It's my pleasure. All right. So, gentlemen, please go ahead. Welcome, Mr. President. Um, it is a pleasure and an honor to have you here today in the Lehigh Valley at Mack Truck. Um, my name is Glenn Gray. I am a production supervisor for the engine room uh, on second shift. Currently, we have 2,400 employees that are here, and out of the 2,400, right. out of the 2,400, 2,100 are United Auto Worker Union technicians. Uh, we currently are hiring an additional 400 to good be, for you mm -hmm, to be able to um, support the chassis insourcing that we've done and worked on really, really hard, so that we can now make the uh, chassis and the rails in-house. So you're making them in-house now? Mm -hmm. We'll be making them in-house. Right. Well, yeah, we were outsourcing cool. this, and then we decided we, we wanted the jobs to be yeah. in the factory, UAW jobs. So we started it in two phases over the last three years, completed as of last fall. This truck now is started by rails and finished as driving off. 100% built here, sir. Right. The, uh, the facility. You, excuse me. Did you have to expand the size? Yeah, we had to build somewhere. We've, over the last four years, we've added about a, a third again to this plant. So we're now at 1.1 million square feet, up 300,000 oh, right. square feet. Yeah, that was the yep. The additional was the 330,000 square that we added on, and that's what we're going to fill the the additional employees with to um, to now, support that. Now, what is this station right here? Mm -hmm. Okay. one so uh no it starts you know simple components steering columns uh you know they'll add even just your uh seats seat belts everything it'll make its way up to the upstand and right here they'll prep it to marry it to the chassis over to the chassis line right there on top of the engine and it'll continue its way towards its customer so, so okay do each of these cabs end up on here yep right. every single one they'll, i got they'll, it they'll be picked up by the crane Yep. and lift over, yep. and then they'll place it on this one. And then soon as the chassis, because the chassis is running down that line, yeah. so the chassis is running down that line, gotcha. the cab's running here, and they're going to marry and meet each other right here at this. In at fact, this that's one. the next spot we'll show you is where the chassis right. and the cabs get married. Now, what's your hometown? Hometown? I was actually born in the Bronx, but I was raised in Allentown, a family in Texas. Um, my heritage is Puerto Rican, um, so I all over the place but you know main thing is being here in the lehigh valley with good paying job and you know the union and mac trucks so it's a nice area too. it is it's beautiful you know it's almost heaven i'm from scranton you know I mean? there you go all right where the office is from <laughs> so, mr president we'll go to and see all right thank you thank gentlemen you so thanks guys. thank you so much keep, keep it up enjoy appreciate it seriously thank, thank you very you. very much thank you Please thank sir. you guys we have the best people here. I can't even put it in the words, Mr. President. It's the it's the heart I'll of the. I tell heart. you what, you got you, you have a hell of a product. Yeah. You're growing. Yeah. I mean, and at the time when everybody was sort of like, can we do it? What's happening? What? You We're doubling here. down. Yeah. We're, We're doing doubling it. down here, expanding U.S. supply chain, adding workers. So we'll go up here then, Mr. President. Please, I'll introduce you to. Let me take a look at two amazing here. people. You know, and our trucks are very much made to the customer specification. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of custom specs, what the customer wants, 
and Macs are known for their reliability and durability in that regard. So meet two colleagues. Please introduce how are yourself you? if you want. How are you? What's your name? Tammy. It's a Hello. great honor, Tammy, sir. Tammy, how are you? Great Lovely. to see you. Nice to meet you. Sir, Eric Myers. Good to see you, Eric. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me, what you doing? I'm supposed to stand here, they tell me. Okay. You got to find the blue X. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, please. I, I work in supply chain, um, pres uh, Mr. President, and um, it's been a tough year for us this year with microchips and some of the yep. challenges we faced. And we've had to close our plant for one shift weeks um, this year and uh, lost some of our labor and for support for our teams to work. So we're hoping for support with you to. You got it. We're making we're making billion dollars, fifty billion dollar investment in microchips, and we're going to make Thank sure you, we sir. build them. Thank here you. in the United States. Come to America supplies. where we can, we can right. get access That's to our exactly parts. what we're doing. Thank you. It's important. Well, thank you. Thank you. How long have you been here, big guy? Uh, ten years. A little over ten years this month, actually. All right. So. But Eric, also tell him he's a third generation yeah. Mac man. Your grandfather, Andrew. Grandfather Uncle. worked here for almost 50 years. Uncle worked here for 43. So third generation. Proud to work here. It's going to get better. Yeah. You're going to get better. You're going to make an awful lot of these electric vehicles pretty soon, too. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. So, so this is. Flip this sucker over. Yeah, so this. <laughs> like the old style. Yeah. And as we go to the next station, you'll see that, like, like our garbage trucks and some of the concrete pumpers and whatnot. And that'll be the we go to to show you our fully electric um, Mac waste and recycling truck made right here. Yep. So we've added space, we've added technicians, we've added training yep. to make sure we have the skills. Everyone we want to build everything in the same factory here. And that's why the supply chain and the infrastructure is so important right now, because we have the product. We have the technology. Our customers have the, the demand they're bringing us. Now we really need to work together to get the infrastructure put together for the yep. charging stations, which we'll talk about at the next stop, Mr. President. Because well, we're all Mac proud, Mr. President. You should be Mac proud. I, I was telling them I was raised by an automobile man. Good. Yes. Man, that's how I got so you know, to school. You know how important everything no, is to us here no, in the country. It, it really, really is. And yes. Look, this is... You guys are going to be in the cutting edge of change that's going to take place in the next 10 years that you're not going to believe. Yeah. And it's going to be, and anyway. And if we I don't do it. drive an 18-wheeler, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish oh, yeah. I could. <laughs> that's I awesome. got to. <laughs> Mr. President, we'll go this way, please, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Good job. Enjoy. Thank you. And again, so here's the Mac LR electric, fully battery electric first of its kind in, in, uh, in North America. And you'll see as we go around the corner here, Department of Sanitation in New York City is our launch customer. Tough, demanding. Right here on the oh, board. yeah. Yeah, one of the best, you know, best operators in the world of this kind. And then if I may, Mr. President, I take you up to introduce the colleagues here, and they'll introduce you to the electric hey. Mack truck. Mr. President. What's your name? Jacob Evans. Good to see you, Jacob. Good to see you, too. Heather Bouchard. Hey, Heather, nice how are you? you? Good to see you. Sean Smith. Hey, Positive Sean, me, how Mr. are you? President. Absolutely. We're doing great. Doing very good. What. Can I open the door? We don't actually have the keys. Unfortunately, <laughs> the keys. it's locked. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry. I can tell you a lot about this truck, however. So I'm honored. We are honored to be yes. standing here today to show off the Mac Electric LR to you. Uh, it's a feat of engineering, uh, in my personal opinion. Mac Trucks has been building, uh, building the trucks that have built America for 121 years now. Um, and this is just the newest addition to what we can do and how we can plow into the future uh, with our heavy-duty electric LR here. So a couple things about the truck. We have four main battery packs, two behind the cab here, and then two on the chassis over here, replacing the fuel tank and, and other uh, components. The truck is zero emission, almost noiseless, virtually noiseless. Uh, it requires no oil changes. It's a very, very cool piece of machinery. Um, a target that we've set is that by 2030, we want to have about a third of our truck sales be zero emission. And so in order to predict do that, here is going to be higher than that. I like that. <laughs> no, I'm serious. With the correct infrastructure in place, That's I, think, exactly, I, think, no, I agree, no, Mr. President, gonna, we will get that done. We're going to build 
570,000 charging stations in Long Island. In the, awesome. in the, the bill that I just Perfect. passed. Perfect. And, and we, as Mack Trucks, we appreciate that because we know it's, it's going to allow us to continue to support jobs, um, hopefully open the door to more jobs in the future as well as we continue to, to refine this technology and become the leader, as we hope. And then if you would tell the president what you guys do here at the, at the plant. I've been with the company for about 16 years, and I am production flex, currently on the cab line. And I'm looking forward, actually, for this technology to move over to the conventional cab line so that we can even be more technology savvy. Well, I just went down in North Carolina, and there's a, we're now we're making an awful lot of buses electric, totally electric. As well. As well as school buses. Yep. So I have in there $50 billion to build electric.